Hello students, once again welcome to Bulanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the problem based on chemical kinetics question 8. In question 8 students, you have the reaction. This is the reaction students, where chloroform CHCl3 is chloroform gas, react with chlorine gas and it is giving you carbon tetra chloride gas and hydrogen chloride gas. Okay students, so these two gases are combining and they are producing these two gases. Okay students, where one mole of chloroform CHCl3 combines with one mole of chlorine gas and it is producing one mole of carbon tetrachloride gas and one mole of hydrogen chloride gas okay students so this is the reaction students here we have two reactant chloroform and chlorine gas okay students now what happens students in this reaction students is the first order in chloroform chcl3 and one upon two that is half order in chlorine gas okay students so you have to write the rate law what will be the rate law students if you know this can data students the order if you are knowing the order students you can write the rate law so students when you apply the rate law to this reactant side students where capital r that is rate is equals to it is the product of the rate constant every time you have to write rate constant and the concentration of chloroform chcl3 raised to x if you apply the rate law students and concentration of chlorine power we are writing y okay students now here students order they have given this x and y value they have given so rate law students will be k into concentration of chloroform here they have given the first order x instead of x you can write one now here students concentration of chlorine gas the order they have given that is half okay students that means value of y they have given one upon two understanding students this is the uh, already given in question so this will be the rate law students we have applied okay students so students this is the rate law you can say r is equals to that is rate is equals to k into product of chloroform concentration of chloroform and the concentration of chlorine gas raised to half okay students so this is the rate law we have applied to these two reactant students now students in second you have to find the overall order of the reaction what will be the overall order of these reaction students so overall order you have to apply so this is the first answer to the second answer therefore you can say overall overall order order of the reaction okay students so here in this reaction students we have two reactants so you have to add the order of the reaction that is x plus y here students you have first order in chloroform that is one and half order of chlorine gas okay students now when you add students two it will becomes three upon two so this will be the answer students therefore you can say overall order now you can say order of the reaction whole reaction will be 3 upon 2 so this is the second answer students for 2 marks students they may ask in board examination very simple way this way you have to represent the answer students you will get 2 marks if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you